What's up guys? I've recorded this video like four or five times. I was going to do a lot of edits and stuff, but I just thought I would just kind of do a little commentary on how to grind this Kylian Mbappe. We're going to talk about whether or not it's worth it for you to do this. If you have enough coins, if you have enough fodder, if you have enough time, that's a huge thing. You don't want to be cut with the 89 teams done, but then you run out of time, you run out of coins, and you essentially wasted a bunch. I'm going to show you and kind of let you know if it's a good idea for you to do or if it's a good SBC in general. So if you do enjoy this video, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new, and let's get it. So by the time I'm recording this video, this SBC is worth about 2.3, 2.4 million coins on the PlayStation market. That's if you just buy now to every card, according to Footbin, it would be very expensive. To put in a ballpark range, his 93 inform is about 1.7, 1.8 mil right now. You could pick that up if you want a tradable option. And his headliners looks like it's, I believe, 3.7 mil. Last time I looked, that is another option of a card more expensive than this one. This is a good in-between, but if you're just buying it outright, it's going to be outrageously priced. But if you use the next month, which we do have 30 days, I'm going to show you how you can easily get this done. For me personally, it's not going to move my coin balance too much. And I'll explain why. A bunch of different ways you can grind. First of all, I'm going to show you the first four teams and why I got these done. 84 rated, 85 rated, 85 rated, and 86. Why did I do these first and why did I not do the top ones? Very simple. I had a essentially no fodder when it came to gold rares in an 84 rated to an 86. I was kind of nothing by the time I started the stream today. But we had an 82 to 88 upgrade and we had division rival rewards and essentially everything that we got untradeable from the division rival rewards, I just put into these and we kept making these upgrade packs. Now, these will probably be gone by the time you're watching this video, but let me explain why this was still important and why you should pay attention. I only needed two rares. I only needed three commons, five gold cards in general, 25 chem, gave me a chance from a card that's 82 rated all the way to 88. I got a couple 88s, I got a couple 87s, some more 86s, a lot of 85s and 84s, but plenty of 83s and 82s. And the reason this was so good was it was just consistent fodder, right? I'd get an 83 there, I'd get an 82. If we got an 82, I'd put it back into that. It was one less gold card I needed. And it gave me so much that I was able to really get these teams done pretty simply. Um, and then you'd get the occasional 87 that would help you get some of the 85 rating, some of the 84. And then I'd show you what I'd do when I'd get stuck. We had League SBC packs that I was able to do alongside of it. If you want to know how to do the League SBC method, which I recommend everyone does League SBC, these are literally insane. Not even just the lib. League SBCs in general give you a bunch of fodder along the way. I'm going to link my League SBC playlist in the description of this video. Feel free to check it out. I don't want to sidetrack you in here. Essentially, League SBCs have a guaranteed pack at the end. This is a rare mixed players pack. It gives you an 81 plus guarantee. Not the craziest, but rare electrums are an 82 plus. And the Prem, which I believe is a rare players pack. I don't know if it's an 83 plus guarantee or it's an 84 plus guarantee. You might have to look that up yourself, uh, but it's really good and it's not too hard to do. Now, why do I bring those up and why are League SVCs important? I was doing those alongside of the 82 to 88s. It was essentially helping me build these as well. If we look at the packs in here, they're not too hard to do. You get a gold players pack here, which is excellent for fodder for one of those repeatable SVCs. You get an Electrum players pack, which gives you six golds, six silvers, really good for building other league SVCs. Jumbo silver pack, tradable, so you can sell all the stuff in here, get a lot of coins back. And the jumbo gold pack, which is probably my favorite pack in existence. You get so many tradable things like contracts that each of these packs will give you a couple thousand coins worth of contracts. If you choose to sell them on, be consistent. I'm telling you, it's worth the time. Position modifiers, cam to center mids, striker to center forwards, sell for a lot. Currently on PlayStation, they're both 5K. Easy money, the players in there, worth it every single time. Um, super cheap to do too. All these things will help me build these repeatable SPCs. And then when the repeatable SPCs are gone, I essentially take the golds I'd put into these and I just reinvest them back into the other league SPCs. If I get a duplicate Prem card, instead of throwing it into an upgrade pack, I just go to the Prem and I get one of these teams done if I have enough golds available. 
If I need to buy a card or two, I'll do that as well. Uh, but what happens if you don't want to do league SBCs? What should be your next step if you're trying to get, especially the most expensive teams done? This is where kind of my grind, I feel like comes in handy. I waited to do the 89 for a reason, not because I didn't necessarily have the fodder available. If we take a look at this team, this 88, the honestly, all the rare golds are things I packed today alone. This is a year in review PK. Um, we got him out of the year in review pack. I mean, um, he's a showdown card. Uh, this year we pack from the league SBC. These foot birthday cards are just cards we got recently. And this was an SBC. This, I believe, was an 83 rated team we needed to submit. Submitted to get him done. We got an 88 rated card. And if you check, we have a 91 Courtois goal. That's not an inform though. That is a special card. What kind of special card is it though? Let's take a look. It is a live SBC card. If we go to him, we need a we get a 91 rated out of him. But what do you need to put in to get him? You need to put in an 85 rated squad, which as we were doing, getting a lot of 83s, 84s, some 85s when we were doing the 82 to 88. Just like me, you might have a bunch of cards lower end sitting around now that you got those first couple teams in Mbappe done. You might not know what to do with them. On top of that, you might get a higher walkout rated card and it's a duplicate, but you don't have enough to get an 89 rated team done. Why is it good to put it in here? You put it in there, right? Let's say you get a Suarez, a Chewy Suarez, 88 rated. You put him in there with a bunch of your 84s and a couple 85s. Boom, you get that 85 rating. You submit it and you are good to go. You have a 91. That saves you a ton of coins of having to buy a 91 off the market. Now, once I get that player, I will probably end up buying the remaining Lewandowski if we don't pack him or a card like him along the way. Um, but I'm able to do so because we have some coins and we're making coins from League SBCs. Now, what is another way you can get these teams done without doing League SBCs and grinding in different ways? Let me show you. Not only is the Player of the Month good ideas, things like that, every promo you're going to get a bunch more special card SBCs coming out. Someone like Oriel Zabal, I don't think I even said his name correctly. 92 rated card, right? You go in, he has an 83 rated team, an 84 rated team, an 85 rated team. Excellent way to use some lower rated cards to get yourself a tradable pack. Potentially pack something out of there. If not, you get some coins, right? Use those coins to then help you buy out the rest of this if you need help, if you don't have enough fodder. Very simple to do along the way, and you can take your time with it. Remember, we have a month. You're not in a rush. Even though 11 teams seems like a lot, it could have been even more. 11 teams is kind of pretty simple to do if you think about it. Other things as well. You could go to swaps. If you're watching this during foot birthday still, we have six days left when this new promo starts. Um, you can still submit some of these cards. So if you had two of the swaps, <clears throat> you could get a rare players pack. If you had five, you could get an ultimate pack. You could go to the 86 plus times seven if you have 14 swaps. That's probably a really good pack. But you also still have things like icon swaps, which can give you an 81 plus times 25, an 82 plus times 25, and an 83 plus times 25. Me personally, I need to get these done the next couple of days. I have some squad battle games I need to play and then some friendlies, and I should have that taken care of. That 83 plus times 25 will give me an insane amount of fodder to help get those 89 rated teams done. So those would be kind of the main ways I would say start grinding for these cards. You might be thinking to yourself still, okay, Mumbo, well, if I don't have the time to grind League SBCs, if I maybe don't have as many coins as you, or don't know if I have enough coins to cover it, if I'm getting low on time, what are some other things that I could do to potentially grind or get stuff along the way? Think of it like this. He is out for another 30 days. That's essentially four weeks. In four weeks, you have squad battles, you have division rivals, you have foot champs, and you have, what else? You could do, if you wanted to, maybe, what's it called? Why am I blanking on its name? Draft. You have four different game modes that you could potentially get rewards from. Draft, you get it right, right away. Um, all the other three game modes, you get it on set days. If you're someone who grinds gameplay, you're going to constantly be getting packs throughout the week that if you get something decent out of it, or like Division Rivals especially, you always have the option whether you want tradable ones or you could take untradable and essentially double the amount of packs you get. 
If you take the untradeable option, you get a bunch of fodder along the way. That's going to help you craft it. That will get a lot of that taken care of. And again, even if you don't get crazy walkouts, if you get a bunch of like 83s and 84s, you take care of some of these teams, you start submitting some of these SBCs, you have an 88 rated card, a 90 card, a 92. <coughs> that is going to give you a bunch of SBC fodder along the way, which is going to be making it very easy for you to get these 89 rated teams done. Remember, it's only 289. The step from an 89 to an 88 is so easy. Look at what I'm using in the 89 again. It's nothing too crazy. It's all essentially 88s. We have a 92 and a 91. If I would take away that 89 rating and go for the 88, it's so much simpler to get done. We don't need the 92. I could probably even throw something like that in and still be at an 87. So these things are pretty simple to get done. And it's going to be simple in 30 day time period. Now, if you wait till the final week, you might have an issue, but as long as you understand every couple days or every week, you're slowly making progress, getting a team done or two, you should be good to go. Um, another thing you can be doing along the way is if you need trading tips, I have my trading playlist that I can link in the description as well. I'm making about 100K a day doing league SBCs and flipping cards. Very simple. You can learn it too. But remember, you get tradable packs out of these. So once you get an 89 rated done, get a rare players pack. You could pack something crazy out of here. You have your daily peaks to see if you get anything in the previews. So if you go to the store, I think most people know about this right now, but you still can go to browse and go to gold packs and get your daily check. You might be able to pack something crazy out of here. And if you do, that's some more coins. That's some more fodder that you can put back into those things. Now, that's essentially all the tips I have now. I don't know what this next promo is going to have in store in terms of SBCs. I don't know if they're going to have a swap token system, but you can rest assured there's going to be things that you can do during that promo that will help you work towards that SBC. The final thing I'll bring up too, make sure you're looking at objectives. If you're grinding the season pass, you're going to get packs along the way here. The first couple might not be crazy, but the further you get into the season, the better the packs get the better the rewards get. Level 15, you're getting an 85 rated player, which isn't too bad. But if you get all the way to the end, you will have some 88s in here. You could use that as fodder if you want, but you have packs like this where you could get a League of Prime players pack, Bundesliga Prime players pack, or League One Prime players pack. We also have objectives and milestones that you can continuously work towards. If you wanted to go for like, let's say an 87 rated Lamella here, um, you have packs that you could get along the way which doesn't seem crazy in terms of the rewards for these, but they're not too hard of challenges to get done. In the end, you get a prime gold players back. Just go through all these and check to see if any of these would be good things for you to do. Got a bunch of foundation cards that could add up over time as well. Tons of options to get fodder. So I'm gonna leave you there. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. And yeah, we'll be grounding this on stream throughout the week. This is kind of kind of be the video I send you to. So if you came from my stream and I told you to watch this, good job. You got to this point. I'm proud of you. Um, feel free to keep asking any questions you do have. I'm still going to be learning to see if there's better ways to get it done. But again, I'm probably not going to have my coin balance move too much. And we're going to start working now from the up down. We're going to get the 89 done. And then maybe we might do like an 86 if we have a bunch of 84 and 85 fodder. If we run out of those like monthly player of the months, um, but we'll see, man. I don't know what else they have in store. If we get another 85 plus times three, things like that, where it's pretty cheap to do, if they drop those, that can help with fodder as well. But anyways, I'll catch you next time. It's been your boy, Mumble I'm out. God bless.